So in this video, I want to look at how a, a single game plays out over, the, and you know what goes into determining who wins and who loses. So at the the beginning of the game, both both managers, and you remember that the the managers are are what you would call in most sports they're the, they're the coach. So the manager and they would go out to home plate and they would meet with the umpires who I mean the umpires they are the, the the referees so the managers the two managers one from each team and then the at least the home plate umpire and what the managers will do is they will exchange what are called lineups and the lineup will contain a list of all the managers players and what positions that they'll play. So, if you remember, there there are nine defensive positions, and so that means that there will be nine nine players in the lineup. And if if they're playing by the American League rules, then they'll have the extra the designated hitter who will bat instead of the pitcher. So there will, they'll actually have ten guys in their lineup, but only nine guys will bat, and only nine will play the field. So then to actually start the game, what's going to happen is that the traditional way to do it is that the home team will play the field. Play in the field. And so that would put them on defense because it will take their positions in the field. Remember, baseball is the only sport in which the defense has the ball. And then the visiting team will bat. So they so the visiting team will start with the first guy in their lineup and he'll come up to face the pitcher. And so the, the visitors will be on offense and so what the, so they will be trying to score a run. And a run in baseball is a point. And so in order to score a run, you would have to to start, you would start as a batter at home plate and then make it around from home plate to first base, then second base, then third base, and back to home. And that would be one one run or one point for your team. And the home team, because they're on defense, they're going to try to stop the visitors from scoring any runs. So the way that they'll do that is by getting something called an out. And there's lots of ways that you can get an out, and I'll have a video on that soon, but Basically, after three outs, so three outs, then the teams exchange, or or they switch. You could say that they switch sides. So so then the the visitor visiting team they'll run out on the field and they'll be the defensive team. And then the home home team they'll run in off the field and they'll start at the beginning of their lineup and they'll they'll go through their nine guys. So at that point the process will basically repeat itself and the the visiting team will play the field and the home team will bat and they'll so. And then, so the rules were reversed. The home team, then, they'll be on offense, so they'll be trying to score runs. The visitors, then, they'll they'll play the field, so they're trying to get three outs. And so at the completion of this, so after, after they start, this would be called the top of the inning when the home field is out in the field and the visitors are batting. And then we have the bottom of the inning, and that's when the, the visitors are in the field and the home team's batting. So after the top and then the bottom that would comprise one inning and so there's, there's no clock in baseball there's no time limit and so the way that the game is decided is that after nine innings then that's that's the end of the game and whichever team has more runs at the end of nine innings they're they're the winning team and so if, if they have the same number of runs, then they'll keep playing. So then they have, they'll, then they'll each get one more chance to bat, 
And if they're still tied after that, still tied after the 10th inning, then they'll go on to the 11th inning. So, you know, games have gone on for hours and hours. And they'll play until after a complete inning, whatever, how many ever that takes, there's one team is ahead and the other is behind. So that's how winners and losers are determined.